Hey yo, what's up Bomb Squad? Um, so obviously, uh, if you guys haven't seen my last video, I just want to start off like this. I always end my videos with a quick little recap of cards that um, I was able to add to my binder. Of course, if you guys have seen my last video, um, I was unable to have my binder on, on me as I was away with the military and I was in my car. So <laughs> when I got home, I was able to determine there were three cards I was able to add to my binder. This Reverse Hollow Reboot, um, this Reverse Hollow Muna, and this Full Art Stone Journer V card. Um, so, obviously, like I said, I like ending all my videos with a quick recap. So, um, so yeah, since I didn't have the chance to do that because I didn't have my binder or anything with me, um, I want to do it right now, real quick. <laughs> so, um, now we can actually start with today's video. Um, a lot to get into. Um, for what's to come for the next week or so. So obviously you guys, if you guys haven't realized this by now, um, I spend a lot on cards and packs and stuff like that. And when I come across like some older sets, um, kind of like like the Shining uh, Legends, the Burning Shadows, and the Breakthrough Boxes, Elite Train Boxes, um, I, I like to buy them. Um, you know, they're still out there, uh, at least in my area. Um, so. Yeah, so this is something I just want to show you some things that I just bought um, to open obviously today and to add to my collection. Um, obviously, uh, one of the things I bought again was another Elite Trainer Box of Shining Legends. Um, I think this is a cool set. Um, I haven't really opened many of them, but like I said, that's why I'm like kind of stacking up on these to, um, you know, give us some time um, and let it age a little bit. And then once we start opening up those packs, we're going to be like, wow, I remember when we opened that pack from Shining Legends, you know, things of that nature. Another one that I found that I was kind of surprised um, was the uh, Crimson Invasion. Um, it's not in the best shape, this box, Elite Trainer Box, um, but still, you know, something else I could add to my collection. And rare, uh, like oddly enough, uh, something else I stumbled upon today was uh, XY um, from Fates Collide in Elite Trainer Box. Um, it has like a little scratch right here, um, but it's other than that, it's in pretty good shape. And um, th like I said, these are like Elite Trainer Box and things that I'm adding to, to my collection. Um, you know, for me, it's it's a collection. Like right now, people can be like, hey, I'm fine. I always find those, this, this, and that. Um, but it's going to get to the point kind of like um, Hidden Fates kind of was for a little bit before they did a massive printing of them again. Um, you know, back in the day with uh, base set, like Fossil and stuff like that, people, you know, just have all these things. And then the only smart ones were the ones <laughs> who saved it. And now we're all looking for them. So um, that's what I'm kind of doing. Um, not to save them to invest, but more to kind of have it for my own personal collection. And then uh, maybe in the future, kind of open it with you guys together. Um, something else I bought, um, as you guys are aware, I like getting into the promos and having all the promos collected. So I have the Galarian Ponyta uh, Blister Pack here. Um, so we're going to get into this one today. And then for the next video, we'll go into this more Pico. Um, promo pack uh, so that's what we're gonna get into today the Galarian Ponyta and then for the next video we're gonna get into the uh, more Pico one um, and today we're gonna open up some more obviously Sword and Shield we're gonna open up uh, I think this is 12 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 I, I think so I, I counted fast even though I really didn't count <laughs> so we'll open 12 of these today um, plus the three that are in there and then today we're also gonna go and look at these two cards. Um, these two cards I'm going to be sending to PSA. Um, and, you know, I kind of want you guys to see it as well. Uh, obviously, uh, you don't know what they are yet. Um, so, um, but we're going to get into them. You know, I'm going to keep on doing this little uh, showing of cards I'm going to send to PSA. And, you know, I'll be honest with you guys when we're making these reviews for it. Like, if you guys saw my last video with the base at 2 Charizard and the Blaine's Charizard. Um, that, you know, I, I'll, be on, I'll be honest with my opinions on what I think... Uh, my cards are getting graded as all right so without further ado let's get into it all right guys so we're gonna start getting into these blister packs um i hope everyone's enjoying their week so far hopefully everyone's staying safe and healthy i know there's a lot of things going on out there um with uh with everything going on with all these different uh scares with health and stuff like that um i hope everyone's safe you know what i mean um and uh just make sure you guys wash your hands <laughs> You know, I feel like a like an old advertisement, but like, you know, I, I think that's like the only way, you know, me hearing the news that that could kind of help out, you know, washing your hands. And that's obviously with anything, you know, not just with what's going on now, but 
just with anything that ever spreads um, the bacteria and stuff like that. So uh, we got a Clavopus, uh, we got a Ghastly, we got a Reverse Hall Cinderace. I'm not sure we have this one. And for our first, woo, for the first card of the day, we have a Sableye V Full Art. Okay, guys, um, really cool card. Um, Obviously, this is this might be one of the first cards I've noticed from this set that might be off-centered. Is it just me or is this really off-centered? I think it's really off-centered. But um let's see, let's look at the back. Yeah, it is. Alright. This is the first time I think I've noticed that. Like I really don't pay attention to that with the with um with the cards that I'm opening up uh, from this new set. But um I think this is the most like this is the first one that I really like. It was extremely noticeable that I was like, wow, that's that's not that good. <laughs> um, oh, so, so far, guys, we're two for two with the green and white code cards. Um, this is a good way to start off. And this is, like I said, this is why I like the blister pack sometimes. Just because uh, you just don't know what you're going to get. Um, and obviously, <laughs> I bought more blister packs. I think I bought 32 more um, from what I had already. Um... I don't know why I'm not just buying booster boxes. I don't know, but but yeah, <laughs> we got a score bunny, we got a reverse hollow sable, and then for ooh, we got another V card, and that is a Lapras V card. All right, guys, so so far two for two on the hits. Um, it's pretty crazy. Uh, let's see if we could go three for three. It might be pushing it. I don't know, but hey, anything's possible, right, guys? Got to throw some fairy magic on that. R.I.P. Fairy types. <laughs> um, and and uh, we got a green and white code card, so no guaranteed hollow. Um, but still, um, we can only be optimistic. You never know. All right, so gonna find energy. We got a haunter. We got a thwacky, palpad, gossiflor, silly cobra. That's always so silly. The yamper. We got a crabby. We got a kufant. We got a verse hollow Galarian zigzag and for a rare we have a non hollow Cramorant. Cramorant. All right, not bad so far, guys. Um, also, hopefully everyone's enjoying. Uh, I said this before. Hopefully everyone's enjoying the day. But around me right now, um, it's really, really nice out. Like I think it's like 70 degrees out, and I wore like long sleeve. Like I wore a shirt with like a long sleeves on, like over that. I was like dying of heat. So hopefully wherever you guys are, you know the. The sun's out, you guys get to enjoy the day a little bit. Um, or if you guys want to be inside, you know, go for it. You know, I, I like to read some books sometimes, um, especially because of law school. So it's nice to be outside once in a while. So, you know, get some nice fresh air um, and, you know, enjoy the day. Reverse hollow, grab lock. And for a rare, we have a non hollow nine tails. Let's see this focus. There we go. All right. So, all right. Not bad, guys. Four packs in. Two B cards, and, um, and yeah, can't complain so far, guys. So we're gonna go through these pretty quickly. Ooh, green and white code card. There we go. Enjoy, guys. All right, let's see. Let's see what it feels. Ooh, okay. I think it's a V card, guy. Right? I don't know if you guys. So if you guys have opened these packs, which I'm sure a lot of you have so far, um, the V cards and the gold cards, they all have like a, a texture to it. Um, you don't even. You can just tell when it's like gonna be one of those. Um, so I think it's going to be a V card. So let's see if I'm right. We got a Shelter, Verse Hollow Energy Switch, and for a rare, we have a, wow, I am extremely wrong. This one was actually the one I was feeling, and it feels thicker. Well, Verse Hollow, maybe that's why I felt it. I don't know. <laughs> so my theory went out the door. <laughs> so, but I, but I'm being serious. I mean, if you guys have handled these cards so far, there's definitely like a, a different feel to these, uh, to these new V cards, um, gold cards, and rainbows, there's definitely some texture on it, um, or just it just it's a whole different feel from the GX and things and those other sets. So um, I'm not going crazy, guys. I promise. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't like saying thwacky so much because you guys have realized this by now. I have a lisp, so saying saying thwacky, it's not the best thing for me to do. Uh, we got a Wulu, we got a Rosal Switch, and for a rare, we have a Thievil. All right, not bad, guys. All right, we're getting through these pretty quickly. Like I said, I, I always say my videos are going to be short, and before I know it, like by the time I'm done with the video, I'm like, 
I've noticed that it's been like 30 minutes. I'm like, holy, holy, <laughs> you know, like, geez, how, uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know how I end up talking for that long and things like that. Well, I do know because I, I ramble a lot and sometimes I just, you know, I just talk, I 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 talk, but, but yeah, guys, so we got a Grookey, we got a Mudbray, we got a Hoot Hoot. Gross Hollow Heatmore, and for a rare, we have a Sableye V-Card Full Art, guys. What are those chances of that? We got its Evil Twin there. Um, it looks like it's it's a little better in the centering. A little bit. So, eh, kind of crazy, guys. I mean, it's, you know, that's bullets are hard to come across, but then pulling the same card, like, in the same, like, opening, it's kind of crazy so also guys like I, I've always mentioned before I'm into Yu-Gi-Oh I'm kind of getting myself into magic a lot as well um, although I keep on showing you all the things I purchased from um, for Pokemon um, I did purchase a lot of things from uh, for magic um, especially from the um, new set that came out Theros uh, Theros Beyond Death I believe it's called um, Versus Hollow Flaggy, and for a rare we have Whimsicott, not Hollow. So I also stumbled across some old pack, uh, some older packs from Magic. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in me doing those openings as well. Um, I have a lot of like things from Magic, like I said, and a lot of things from uh, from Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, so let me know. Like I said, um, I know Magic is really big. It's bigger in the trading card world than Pokemon um, and Yu-Gi-Oh. So um, let me know if you guys are interested in that. That's definitely something I could get. Uh, we could start doing. Um, so let me know. We got a Muna. We got a Rosalia. A Choodle. A Blipbug. A Rhyhorn. Versus Hall Lucky Egg. And for a rare, we have a Stone Journer V Max card. Really nice, guys. I don't. I think I have this one already. But regardless, it's a Stone Journer V Max card. It's a beautiful looking card. This is the section I'm telling you about. I'm, I'm saying it as I'm like feeling it, but you guys obviously cannot see it. I mean, feel it as well. You can kind of see it, but maybe you guys can see the texture through the camera. I'm not sure, but who am I to judge? <laughs> so, all right guys, so let's try to keep this video short. Let's keep it moving along. Um, so we've opened up, uh, this is our ninth pack. Um, and we've opened, and we pulled uh, Four V cards, well, you know, three V cards and one V Max. Um, really good, you know, really good so far. Um, the pulls cannot complain. Obviously, not the cards um, I'm aiming for right now because I do have all those cards in the back. Uh, at least I'm 100% sure. Uh, you know, we still want to get that gold Karzacian, so hopefully we could pull that sometime um, in the near future or today. You know what I mean? Uh, I know something uh, when. I believe with uh, Cosmic Eclipse, I was like seeing, I, like I said, I watch a lot of uh, other YouTubers who uh, do uh, pack openings, and um, sometimes a few of them said that they would receive comments from, uh, from you know, from you guys saying that they usually the promo card packs have the, have the better pulls and stuff like that, so hopefully maybe getting into these, like I said, those are the first two promo packs I'm getting, in, get, getting uh, my hands on for um besides that uh toxicity v uh v card collection box and the vmax meowth one um you know these are my this is my first time getting my hands on that so we'll see if we get some better pulls from that all right so this is our last blister pack for uh this video not our last pack because in that promo uh pack we have three other sword and shields so let's see can we get some last oh no we cannot so this is not technically last pack magic so um you know, we didn't need a lot of the fairy magic in this one, so <laughs> can't blame it. All right, so we got Psychic, we got B Sharp, Evolution Incense, Vitality Band, Rhyhorn, Focus, here we go, Rosalia, Ferrisseed, a Krabby, a Galarian Zigzagoon, Verse Hall Savo, and for our rare, we have a Grab Lock. Grab lock, yeah, grab lock. All right, guys. So um, now let's get into the Galarian Ponyta um, promo pack. Like I was saying before, actually, you know what? We actually have to. 
look at the two cards I'm looking to send to PSA. All right, so the first one we're gonna look at is this card, all right? Um, if you guys know about Pokemon, a lot of you guys, you guys know what collection this card's from. It's extremely expensive collection, and obviously you guys know I have a lot of those packs. Um, this is from Legendary Collections, the Cinder Queen. I actually pulled this one myself. Uh, I was I actually thought I was gonna pull a Charizard when I was opening this pack because we had a Charmander in there and we had a Fire Energy and it just it just all seemed like all the points were leading towards Charizard. <laughs> but then I got a Nidoqueen. Queen. Um, and this card was almost immaculate um, when I pulled it. The only thing that happened was, and you guys will see it in the back, right down there, there was like a little piece hanging out. And um, instead of me leaving it alone, I tried to like scratch it off and this is what happened. Um, I know, I know, not the greatest move in the world. Uh, but obviously in the, in my, you know, kind of looking at this right now, I don't see any big issues with it besides that. I don't know how much PSA can deduct from that itself. Uh, I would hope it could come out an 8 or something like that. But like I said, I don't know what they would consider that to be. Um, how bad or, or, or whatnot. Um, the next card I'm going to show you, I can't remember what set it's from. I don't know why. Maybe you guys can uh, put it in the... I don't know why it's slipping my mind right now. Um, but I have this Venusaur Hollow. I can't... I don't know why I can't remember what's the name of the set. Oh, it's really annoying me now. I drew a blank. But um, this is another card I'm looking to send to PSA. This Venusaur is actually in pretty good shape. Um, I don't see any issues here um, besides some of these little marks on top. Um, you know... I'll be honest with you, I think this might come back an 8. That's being extremely optimistic. Um, and that's kind of me not looking at it as in depth. Um, but yeah, you, you know, like these are two more cards I'm going to be sending to PSA. And like I said, this is going to be something I'm going to be sharing with you guys as we continue our journey. Trying to send, uh, I think it's like 10 cards or so to PSA. Um, so there you have it guys. Those are the two other ones. That are going to be added to that list for PSA. That will be heading that way uh, in the near future. Uh, but last but not least, let's get into this uh, this promo pack. All right, guys. So, all right, we got a one, two, three. Come on. Three, we got the... I'm pretty sure you guys pretty got the code already. All right, so there's a code for the Galarian Ponyta three pack there is a ponyta promo card um, obviously you guys know that this will be going um, in my binder with all the other promo cards because this is the first time I'm opening this uh, blister pack um, in the background you can probably hear me putting it in a perfect sleeve just because I don't know I just don't want to forget I don't, I don't know <laughs> um, and then we got this uh, uh, coin I don't know why it's going to come out but the coin it's a Garchomp um, so there that is. I mean, there, there, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, and then we got our three packs from this. Uh, obviously, we're trying to go for that gold card Zacian. Obviously, that's not the only card I'm missing, but <laughs> that's like, I think, the most expensive one so far. And it's still maintaining its value. Oh, green and white code card. Nice. So we got a sword and shield. A green and white code card. All right. So let's see what we get here, right? Let's see. Ooh, uh, I'm not even going to say what it feels like because <laughs> what if I'm wrong? All right. So we go. Here we go. Switch, Ferrothorn, Reboot, Krabby, Encino, Galarian Ponyta, and a Galarian Ponyta promo pack, Cottony, a Score Bunny, a Reverse Hollow Potion, and for our first one, it is a Hollow Oranga Root. All right, so I believe we have that card, or maybe we have the reverse one. I'm not sure. Um, and is the you know what I mean? Look, okay, no, it's not. I was just looking because I I didn't I didn't you know they kind of looked similar, but they're not. I don't know why I thought they looked similar, but I mean, well, they are the same Pokemon. They're just different artwork. Um, but yeah, all right. So let's get into the Stormlight like Vmax uh, pack. All right. Okay. All right, all right. Hopefully, you guys. Yeah, I keep on hearing YouTubers saying there's 
And there's who could like scan the code cards, like the, the QR code, and um, just scan through the videos. I don't know. So that's why I cover it sometimes. Just so it can be fun, then everyone has an equal chance to get into it, and not just one person running like a program or something that could do that. Um, got Balatoy, a Chinchow, a Sizzlipede, a Galarian Zigzagoon, a Reverse Hollow Vitality Band, and for our rare, we have a non hollow Corviknight. Alright. So our last pack. Can we get some last pack magic for this video? And we cannot. Nice. <laughs> Unless it is a <laughs> error card, it seems like we're gonna, you know. Eh. So we got a energy, a loomberry, a aurora energy, a double, a silly cobra that's always so silly, a yamper, a grookey, a kufant. A Bell Toy, a Reverse Hall Grab Lock, and for our last rare, we have an Ore Beetle. Alright, guys, so like always, um, we're gonna do a quick little recap of the cards that I'm gonna be adding to the binder. Let's go. Alright, Bomb Squad, so um, after this commercial break <laughs> that just went by, um, we were able to uh, figure out what cards we're gonna be able to add to our binder. So we have our Grookey. We have our Cinderace. Put that back there. We have a Grab Lock, Reverse Hollow. Um, we did have the Oranguru, but I realized I found I just realized that I did not have the Hollow one. We had the Reverse Hollow, which is cool. And then, um, obviously, we're not going to be adding these cards to the binder because we already have them. Um, but you know, I want to show you obviously like a little recap and obviously the promo Ponyta. We're going in the binder as well. So we were able to pull the Lapras V card, the Sableye V card full art times two, <laughs> uh, and the Stone Drinner V Max. Um, and obviously, I uh, don't want to forget of this, these beautiful cards, uh, this Legendary Collections Nidal Queen, and then last but not least, this Pop Series Two promo. All right, guys. So um, like always, I really appreciate all the love and support, and like always. Bombs, what out?